let's begin our adventure again. So, uh, if you are just joining us, um, we are running a Pathfinder game in glorious live stream, and we have our five adventurers today who will be uh, joining us on the next stage of their uh, adventure, and um, we're going to do another quick introduction real quick. So let's give a real name, character name, and something that your character likes. Okay. Uh, my name is Dom Zook. Uh, I, I created Saving Throw. Um, my character is Steve Firebanks, the wizard. Uh, he's a universalist wizard. Uh, and uh, he, why, why are you smirking and laughing over there, dwarf? <laughs> um, he's a little bit haughty, uh, this Ooh. wizard. The thing that he likes, um, besides Mr. Pickles, his steed, his trusty steed that he saved from a glue factory many years ago. Um, the thing that he likes most in this world oh, for God's sake. is wine. Is wine. There we go. <laughs> wine. All right, yeah. cool. He's a, he's a little bit of a drinker when he, when he has access Spud. to it. Spud. Cool, Spud. No, sorry, uh, Tyler Rhodes. Uh, I've been playing a human rogue by the name of Spud. One word, Spud, no last names, because last names are silly. Um, uh, very, um, he's a child. He's 15, which is a child to me. Um, 15 years old, got little wispy uh, whiskers on his uh, face. Oh, He's adorable. Um, what Spud likes most in the world is candy corn. Oh. Yeah, no, he would do anything for candy corn. Cool. Including Rob the Blind. Yeah, no, he's, he's not a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. All right. Um, my, name, my name is Amy Vorpal, and I am playing Denida Stormblossom, and she's a druid with an animal companion named Hope the Ape. And she, uh, the one thing she likes more than anything in this world is male attention. Boom. Mm. Uh, I'm you Benjamin. thinking about that male attention? Uh-huh. <laughs> and how she never gets it. Uh, so I'm Benjamin Dunn. I'm playing Garthok the Drunken of Cragrock. Uh, he is a dwarf fighter level three. And the thing he loves most in the world is wine and women but mostly wine, because it's not very charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> the wine helps with No, I did, I did take on charming. You did take on charming. As, as a trait. Oh, well Which done. won't work, because they have to be sexually attracted to you to begin with. Oh. And charisma makes it Ambitious. rough. Ambitious. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm uh, Mason. I'm playing Koric. He is a half-elf cleric, and he enjoys peanut brittle. Peanut <laughs> brittle. We have two candy lovers in this It's team. bad for your teeth, but it's so good. It's right. the candy so good. sexually attracted yeah, well, to you. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Uh, <laughs> not awesome. Criticize. So um, our team today, which again, uh, to emphasize, is we have a cleric, we have a fighter, we have a druid, we have a rogue, and we have a wizard. Wizard! Uh, they are playing today in a world called the Waking Age. And this world is centered around the idea that all knowledge is precious. All knowledge is something of value because only 10 years ago, all knowledge was lost. In a weird cataclysmic event that tore the world asunder, not literally, but mentally, everyone essentially had a collective amnesia that removed history from their lives. So the world is starting over again as far as what is truly known in the world. Now they know who, they know that they live, they, they, everyone uh, knew their names, or, but they didn't know what their history was or any of that previous knowledge that they accumulated. So <clears throat> a lot of these adventures are, a lot of the people who are out there are going out and rediscovering the world and all of the previous city-states that may have been part of an empire at one point are now pretty much centered into warlord states in which everyone deals with knowledge in their own unique way. So. These adventurers have taken a job to go and escort some goods that are being taken into the city of Siraz, all right, which is a desert city that is the hub of all trade in the desert of Ak Akbeth, I it's believe. It's also the name of a fancy wine. I fancy know. Wine. Siraz. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> hey. It's the name of a fancy wine. Mm -hmm. And we are actually, Sleep. we're picking up this adventure <laughs> with, um, with uh, Quark is actually trying to chase down the last remaining member yeah. of their raiding party. All right, Garthok right. is following. And Garthok is following. <laughs> so what? Uh, what do you want to do? I want to well, of course, give chase. All right. Um, and I have a, a spell-like ability called Agile Feet. Okay. Uh, with Agile Feet. 
Oh it makes his goodness. feet it makes agile. me more agile right. so on let, my feet. So why don't you look it up so you can get the specifics on it, and I want to hear what the rest of the team is doing while Korok's attempting to take a chase. Um, I'm going to say a prayer over the dead horse. Okay. Because I'm a druid and I love my animal creatures. And I will say, uh, actually, my deity is Gazra, who is uh, more over the the sea realm, but still a lot of nature. Yeah. So I the will horse say. Is dead? Hor oh, the, the horse that was drawn to carry? The horse, horse, horse is dead. Oh, Ceased sucks. to be. Yeah, it took, it took two magic missiles into the neck. So, yeah. right. you know. May your, may your future life be as bountiful and loving as this life was. And I'm sorry <laughs> that you died in a flame of a missile. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, why is that animal in a cage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though no, we do have a, a, um, a tiger at this point as well too. So what is um, what are what about you three? Uh, I, I'm following him. Yeah, I'm, you're following him. I, I'm I'm looking at this uh, this saber toothed tiger okay. that just was uncovered. Now to, be, now to be fair, it is a giant cat that has long tusk like. Um, Do they talk teeth. like this? <laughs> Leave us exit stage left. Tusk like fangs that are protruding down from its mouth. Would you say they're saber like? They are saber like in nature. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, I don't want to jump to the conclusion that it's a saber toothed tiger, but Fair. in my eyes. But it's, a, but it's a creature you have seen before in this world. I have seen this before. Yes. This is not new. Okay. Um, uh, uh, it's not common in this area, uh -huh. but it is, it is certainly, uh, it is not. Um, it is native to this land in this world. Okay, so. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that whatever box it's in is yeah. still secure, right. and 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 I'm gonna try and put together like why, who sent us, where we're going, what purpose could merchants this... right there? We can ask him. Yeah, merchants there. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna yeah I'm gonna, gonna ask him what way. what what is this thing doing okay. here? Um, Spud. Uh, looting the bodies. <laughs> gonna loot the bodies. <laughs> looting the bodies. One can of, can Garthog scream back? You should feed the dead horse to the cyber tooth tiger. Gain its trust. Well, you just did, so there you go. Wow, nice. Uh, um, Hold up, cleric. I'll ask tonight to do it. <laughs> All right, so yes, let's finish yeah. this off, and then you can oh. go into your questioning of the merchant. Okay, so. but, 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 but so what's this? Do you loot the bodies? Here. Uh, you do loot the bodies. Yes. All right, and yeah. I will tell you. You get another one goal from another dude? Yes. And another one goal from another dude. Wow. Okay. But one of them uh, was on fire. None of them had any more of those little uh, flasks full of... Uh, no. Oh, he was the only one. Just the one dude, huh? Just the one. Um, let me, let me check. Chickens hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, let me Wait, validate one, that. One guy set himself on fire, so... Well, oh, yeah. Actually, that's the point. His body's aflame. He was the only one who was carrying it. Right. Oh. And if there was anything on it, it would be destroyed at this point. Yeah. So actually, take that gold away that I was going to give you. Dead. Sorry, <laughs> because that body is burnt. I just need a second. You can... Okay. Right. <laughs> Feed the dead rogue. I'm just gonna yell to over to you. If you find any gold, we split it. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Mark, find any. Let's run. Sorry. Okay, uh, agile feet allows me to move uh, one extra square for one round. Okay. And I also can negate any difficult terrain. Mm. So I can do this six times a day. Got it. All right. Nice. So, so then the sand's not gonna be an let's issue. Let's make some competing <laughs> dex checks. Oh no, dex. Uh oh! Hot three coming out the gates. All right, he is—he—he's a desert dweller, dude. You may be agile, and you're, I'm not going to put any difficulties on you. But <laughs> here—but you're still stomping through the sand while he's like, I am my own difficulty. All right. I give up. All right. Um. So you, turn around. you've got—you've you've got about a, uh, at least a 30-foot distance at this point. So you've—you've you've lost 10 feet of ground. Do you want to keep doing the chase? Uh, I'm going in there alone. No, I, I let him go. The rats got away. <laughs> Shucks. Um, all right. So now I slide down. Is mm -hmm. we were going up a dune. Yeah. I slide down the dune. Okay. Going back. That's fair. Just tuck <laughs> yourself in like a ball. Uh, dumb. Yes. Or back Steve. So the merchant's like, he's he, you know he's he's you know got his head up. Uh, he's rubbing his turban and he's just kind of shrugging. He's like, well, what are we gonna do? They killed the horse. What are we going to do? They killed the horse. If only we had another horse. Yeah. Mm. With a name. Yeah. Look, so, the, you, you made this mess. Strap your horse to it. Let's whoa, get going. Whoa, 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 whoa. They were after whatever was in this, this cart here. Uh, can you explain why we're transporting this animal? What needs to be explaining? There is, all, there is bandits in this area. They wanted my stuff. They didn't want I it. They you. set it on fire. How did, okay. Uh, 
why? He's really not happy. Like, <laughs> I mean, that horse costs money. I'm not happy either. I'm bleeding from <laughs> the chest, this chest wound right yes. now. Uh, I've, I've bled for you, sir. Uh, yes, uh, and, my, and my money will be worth your blood if, as long as we get to Siraz. Why, what is, what is in Siraz? Why? I'm uh, selling the cat. You're selling the cat? I'm selling the cat to the to Who? the master of the ziggurat. It is not of your uh, it is not of your concern. Master of the ziggurat? Yes. I sounds I, legitimate to me. Uh, what? I don't know. Look, just playing the devil's advocate. Uh, what's to stop us from killing this merchant and delivering the cat ourselves? Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Lawful good cleric yonder. <laughs> I'm sorry, chaotic good, right? Chaotic good, still, still chaotic good. good. Uh, I'm neutral good. I'm neutral good as well. I'm just, I just wow. said. I just said. That's a really evil thing to no, say. No, it was. I was playing devil's advocate. So we're, so we're, I'm trying to get us some money. Yellow card. Well, he's say. going to pay you money as long as you get the card to Saraz, which oh. is only a six. It's only like a, a half day's march to get there now. He's okay. And it's and it's it's getting close he's, to like he's going to pay us money one way or another. I'm just trying to figure out if these people knew we were transporting this cat, because you know. I, I don't know. Are there bandits? Uh, is this just bandits, me asking? Ban frequent? Bandits frequently. He, he he explains that bandits do frequent the trade routes, and whether they're doing it to loot or steal, but they don't really explain their motives when they go and kill and pillage. Uh, but it yeah. seems it seems weird. I'm saying it seems weird that they planned on burning this caravan as opposed to looting it. Well, if they can't have it, no one else can. No, what's the purpose of a cat? You can you do a lot of things with a cat, burn it for you a, can do nothing a bad with a cat. god. A there's, bad a lot god. Of, there's a lot of potential reasons why either these bandits would want something dead, but without really talking to the bandits, it's gonna be a difficult way, because the merchant's not gonna, he's not gonna be able to make, it's his job to take the goods yeah. to Saraz, sell it, and then get back. He hires you guys <laughs> to make sure that stuff like this doesn't happen, and it comes out of his fee. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, in my chaotic neutral way, uh, can I be drinking and cutting up that horse to give to the cat gleefully? Yeah, let's see if he's you are so really an alignment thing necessarily that you have to Nope, it's, it's an alignment do. thing. I, I would hate to do this as Ben, but Garthok no, wants I to feel do on, it. No, I feel on board with this. <laughs> Denida likes that because, right. you know, from earth circle dust to dust. Yes, yeah, circle he's, he's like, whatever. It's dead meat to me anyway. So. All right, and I put some in my pocket because I'm going to cook it the horse later. Really? Cooking horse meat here mm. in Saving Throw, Don't feed and gentlemen. him any of the bandits. We don't want him to get a taste for human flesh. <laughs> well, uh, we have a, uh, a Can I cook it over the burning uh, bandit? No. <laughs> no. No, you've got your meat. All You're right. good. If I may, yes. uh, we have a horse that perhaps you could hire to bring you into the, uh, to the city. Uh, he doesn't buy it. He'll be like, look, I will consider not charging you for the horse if you draft, strap him to him and we get to Siraz. Hope will do it. Wait, you're not going to charge us to bring your stuff to this city? Look, my horse is dead <laughs> because you guys did not do your job. So either strap the horse, let's get them going, or you can walk. I agree with one part of it. Let's get going. <laughs> mm, we can just walk. H Hope can do it. You yeah, won't get any of the money, though. <laughs> you hope and, dragging and the important. wagon. No. It's up uh, to you guys. What do you want to do? Um, yeah, let's drag you want to leave the merchant sitting in the middle of the desert, stranded with his goods? Do you want to strap Mr. Pickles and collect the reward? Do you want to just give him a hard time? Let, me, let me have a little conversation with Mr. Pickles. <laughs> just give me a second, you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Swell music. I know it's not. No! <laughs> no, I know you don't want to do it, Mr. Pickles. It's, 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 uh, we just have to do this, buddy. <laughs> no, hey, no. Come on, just give me, just give me, it's a, it's a half a day. He, he, nudges, he nudges in your pocket where there are sugar cubes. Okay, you get one sugar cube now, you'll get the rest when we hit Suraz, okay? All right? Be this later. Okay. <laughs> good <laughs> <It's> good. <laughs> All right, so um, they, you take off the harness from the other horse, strap it onto Mr. Pickles, and he now picks up the pace as you guys travel into Suraz. Yay! And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hanging out with the cat feeding it right now. Here's the Dark horse, dog. bitch. <laughs> no, bad kitty. So I spray it with some wine from my wine. 
<laughs> and this is this is our game, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Um, all right, so you guys enter into the city of Siraz, or at least as you uh, come into the gates, you notice the tall sandstone wall that covers the entire um, area around the desert city. It's a 20 to 25 foot high uh, wall, um, which is dwarfed by the three level zugrat that sits in the center of the building in which everything tries to compete with in its own heights but cannot succeed. So the doors open in the classic um, iron graded desert fashion to let merchants in, all right? So the doors open as you guys carry the caravan, caravan inside. It's dusk, by the way, as you guys, as you kind of, it's this beautiful. encounter started in the middle of the afternoon mm. and you guys push into the, um, into the city in, in the evening. How is the sun playing off of the cigarat? <laughs> Plays beautifully, almost like an ancient Aztec temple Ooh. as it shines with its beams of light towards yeah. you. I think as soon as we enter the gate, you should immediately unhook Mr. Pickles. Mm -hmm. You're here. Yeah. <laughs> Getting it any deeper is his problem now. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, he actually, he, it's, 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 it's almost essentially what happens, and he reluctantly throws the bag of gold onto the table next to you guys. It contains 150 gold, hey. which you get to split amongst you, all right? Um, so that is your that is your that is your starting money for this, by the way. So. Okay, 30, 30 gold. That's isn't that fifty right. gold each? Uh, no, it's one hundred and fifty total between the five of you. Yeah, it's thirty gold. Guys. Thirty gold. Thirty gold. Thirty gold. Right. Remember when? Basically, I, how do you do math with the saving throw crew? <laughs> Didn't, right. Did you not hear me? Now the merchant is Shut now the, as the merchant um, <laughs> grabs, uh, he, he drops the money off and he goes towards the stableman who's off to the side of the main entrance to go buy another horse. Uh, at the moment, he's, he he turns. He's like, I would not encourage you to go back out after this after the nighttime, as things even worse than bandits tend to come out in the desert at night. So hopefully this should cover whatever godforsaken stay that you have while you're in this city. So where's the tavern? So there is a tavern. We should probably look for lodging too. There's an inn slash tavern. In tavern. Oh, oh in well tavern. That's, that's handy. So it's right. like it's like a motel eight <laughs> with a bar. <laughs> with a bar. Yeah. It's a motel eight with the white horse. It's in. like a motel one. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you guys want to do? You, you, um, you're in the city now. I will tell you that um, the there are key there are there are key points of interest in the city. Of course, you know nothing about the city, so okay. um, yeah, I can tell you these key points of interest. But you'll you'll I'm not saying there's like a city information placard, but um, they, they do at you least point here. you to where the inn and tavern is. The merchant points you towards um, that direction at least. It's a three story. I'm sorry, a two story. Um, desert style building, adobe style building that has several patios um, on the second floor in which people are out, you know, smoking various uh, um, tobaccos and such and <laughs> eating fine food. So it seems a very tobaccos. luxurious, the, the, the city uh, clearly um, it seems to be like a middle class type of state. There's a lot of specialists who are inside of there. Uh, and but it doesn't seem to be rocked with poverty. This is a pretty well kept city, All right? Sounds good. Um, I'm gonna go into the tavern, mm -hmm. order their finest wine, okay, and sit and reflect. Sit and reflect. Yeah, I'll go. How about the pickles outside? I'm gonna go with Steve. You're gonna go with Steve. I'm gonna go sit with Steve. Is there but another tavern? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna sit at a different table from Garthok. Okay. And eat by myself and be all. Mopey. Mopey. Can I? All right. So as you, I'll, I'll go in and wink at a few people. Okay. <laughs> Random winkings. We're, We're gonna go ahead and go to uh, whoever the innkeeper is. Okay. Maybe if that's the bartender as well. Yeah. And inquire about rooms for the five of us. Great. Okay. So you guys, so you're all going to the tavern. So as you walk into the tavern, the saloon doors swing open because it's hot and no one likes to have a, you know, and it's very open and all the windows are open. Uh, you come in and you see the bar. There's several empty tables with a couple people who are sitting, eating food and drinking. And one thing of note is there's actually a small stage in which there is a, a second and third lip up and it seems, it's empty at the moment, but there are like sequin curtains around it that um, it's clearly used as like a performance space, All right? There is an innkeeper who sits at the table, or sit, sits at the bar in the classic, like with his rag, but he's a scrawny man with a wispy black beard all right, and um, that means he's trustworthy. He uh, um, 
He introduces himself as... So we're thinking like Daniel Day-Lewis? He goes, well, I'm thinking Traveler. Watto. My name is, uh, my name is Milk. And what can I get for you today? Milk? Hi, we'd, uh, we're going to need five separate rooms. It is easy. <laughs> I can take care of you. How long are you staying in Siraz? Uh, for the night, for now. We'll find out more in the morning. Excellent. Well, uh, a few things I should tell you. The, um, the, uh, this, is, this is a wonderful place to be in, but I do not encourage you to go out after dusk. Out of the city or No, out, out of the, the general roads. area. We do not have a curfew or anything here, but it is very important for you to um, not to be out in the late hours of the night, especially around the Ziggurat. I smell plot hook. You <laughs> are the second person to tell us this. Can you elaborate, please? Well, have you not heard about the tale of the master of the Ziggurat? No. Uh, tell us. Do tell. Yeah, <laughs> do tell. The master of the Ziggurat. Oh, by the way, animals are not allowed in here. You'll have to take your monkey outside. <laughs> well, what about Hope? Oh! <laughs> I told you you should have. Oh. I, I told you you should have oh, bought a hat for that no. monkey. <laughs> a trench coat and a hat. Oh, He's Magilla a gorilla. This is, okay, uh, I'm gonna Raphael. try to convince him to let me be. <laughs> okay, you have to make a make a um, diplomacy. Diplomacy. Not a monkey. Right. Okay. Touche. No charisma. So. Uh, uh, eight. It's, it's an eight. Oh no, no, you just don't understand this ape. He can do anything I tell him to. He's 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 my he's like. A trick ape, if, if my trick were fighting people, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh. So yeah. you're one of those druid types, eh? Can't you tell? A wink. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can stay, but if he does not behave, because I have dancers coming out he'll later. He'll behave, he'll behave. He tell me more about these Hope, dancers. Hope, Hope, do, Hope does a little <laughs> bow, and, and like, to, like that to him. Which he doesn't have a hat. Handle animal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Imagine like a whip comes yep, out. It, do it, Hope. It. Do it. Hope, that didn't help it. That didn't help you it. You want to do anything like that. Handle animal. <laughs> oh, handle animal. Yes. Oh, for real. Uh, for 17. <laughs> okay, fine. He does it. <laughs> he's impressed. He's, he's like, okay, I, I like this monkey. This um, is a good monkey. This is a good monkey. Uh, Before we get any further. I don't know why all of the, my, my citizens of Siraz are Russian. But yeah, they're all Russian. It's, it's gay. I like Russian desert dwellers. Russian desert dwellers. That's a nice mix. Playing against stereotype. All right. Um, uh, Can so I cook my horse meat? Do you have a flame? A tundra is actually a frozen he's, desert, though. He's like, I charge extra to cook your own meats. And he like <laughs> takes out a fork and like stabs your horse meat to pick it. You want this? How much extra? Uh, three, or two gold. Pants. Two gold. Ah, yes. All right, That'll so be fine. He comes in and he takes he takes the meat off like You're the spit and just goes into the back. He, I have but, so much disposable he forgets, income. He forgets his story about telling you about the, oh, no. the, the ziggurat. The ziggurat and, the and dancers. Yeah. What happened? Master right. ziggurat. All right. Well, um, you know, he's like, okay, fine, fine. He hands it off to like a to to like a um, a sous chef. Um, Google <laughs> glares at him as he like walks out. Season it. <laughs> this place has I mean, a sous chef. <laughs> yes, I'm already or impressed. <laughs> or maybe just the chef. Who knows? Uh, so, so he tells you the story about how the Ziggurat has been here ever since they've known Siraz. Obviously, when the cataclysm came into place, it was just there. And as far as they understand, um, no one has come in or out of it except for a group of cloaked. Um, hooded people who they are now coined like the term Zograts is what they get. Um, and uh, the, the, the idea is, is that this, this Ziggurat is always around. Um, things come in and out of it, but it's only ever facilitated through the people in black robes. And there's so many rumors around this place, it's ridiculous. All right? But his story is that he, um, is that he basically tells you the story about one of his dancers there because he his dancers were a troop of three initially but one of them went missing several months ago and has not ever been found missing so, dancer eh? so um, um, would you is it, do? does it seem religious what does the ziggurat seem religious I mean it's it's stone and it's several tiered and it doesn't have a door that's the crazy part is like there's no way in or out of this thing as far as entrances go so um, I'll find a door yeah, you will. Or make one. Or make one. How much would you pay us to retrieve said dancer? Uh, well, it, I personally would not care. Oh, uh, I, I love these girls like they're my own daughters, but I cannot <laughs> so afford women. Uh, that, uh, to go and, and find more. But I'm certain you know, the eldest sister would very much like her sister back. Um, we should go talk to her. She? We should talk to 
Who's in charge of the city? What, a mayor? There's a, a governor? Mayor. There's yeah, a mayor. There's a mayor. Is, does, is he having a trouble trouble with this? I mean, it's been it's been a problem that they it, the, the problem is is that it, while people disappear at night and they can't confirm that they're going into the ziggurat at the same time, like money comes out of that thing because they when like every once every um, two weeks or so, ziggurats come out, buy things from around the city, and then just go back in and are never discovered again. Okay. So you know, so while it's a little, it's like it's a dangerous thing. Also. It, it generates it's commerce, money, yeah. You know, hmm. it's like it's a necessary evil. We live with it; it's there. We can't do anything about it. And why mess with it? Why, if it's working, why fix it? Right. Because they've stolen you, somebody. Yes. People, ha people are going missing. Yeah, but no one cares. All right. So around this time I is when <laughs> is when um, the they bring food out. By the way, and and that's when the dancers Enjoy the take, take the opportunity to come out, and Damn. they do they do a, they kind of do the show, and a bunch of musicians come out as well too. So like a stage of three or four mu musicians, three of them are clearly older gentlemen who have probably been doing this for ages, and there's one like young Piper dude who's like, I tell him to do it. Too fast. Too fast. Music's too fast. That's and the, the dancers yeah. come out. They're they're um. They're super fast too. The, one of them is has blonde hair um, with green eyes. She, they both wear veils with sequin um, gowns, and the other one uh, is black hair with brown eyes. And that's pretty much the, the what they allow you to see beyond the veils and like the the clothing that is. Um, Describe their bodies. <laughs> they are they have dancer bodies. They're fit to entertain in this inn and tavern that you now reside in today. So Describe the musicians' bodies. <laughs> the musicians' bodies, the old ones are hunched over with long gray beards. Yeah, keep going. And, <laughs> and the young guy, uh, he just he just looks like he's had the time of his life. Like he's get he's living the dream, mm -hmm. and he's you, you can tell he's probably one of those bardic types that likes to go and like travel and do stuff. Yeah, yeah. bardic types. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but he's in there yeah. playing a tune, staring at the girls, giving them like the his his best charming gaze as he plays his flutes for them. So, okay. you know um, what they say about guys who can play flutes, right? They can play. They flutes can play really. flutes, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go rest because yeah, I wanna go I'm too. hurt. So I'm right. gonna go get There's my... also that. Yeah. Right. So uh, you You're guys have fun. You're a big cut in your shoulder too. Yeah, let's, let's throw some salt on it. I'm good. <laughs> Season yourself. Season away. myself. All right. Your horse meat comes out. It's delicious, by the way. Oh, so good. <laughs> Worth that two gold. Uh, oh, I... by the way, um, the for the since this is a pretty well off tavern, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably say that it's it's two gold a night. Okay. And that Too might not. Night. That might oh. not be. That might not be officially in the book. I'll have to look at it later. But um, for the amount of money that you guys have, and since this is a one-off campaign, I'm going to say two gold is appropriate for your oh. in stay tonight. Do so. you want to go have these? No. <laughs> Can we stay two to a room? Yeah, I'll share a room. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Anyone but, else? Yeah, no, I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to have my own room. Hold on, guys. What's up? I'll approach, uh, I'll approach the bartender. Is, is there a place in town where someone could find companionship? Oh right. no, Spud. How old are you? <laughs> 20. Oh no. That is a very. 20. That no. is a bluff check. <laughs> bluff check. That is a very f uh, full beard for such a 20 year old. Bluff him. Bluff him. You want him? <laughs> bluff him. Dude, have you? I got money to spend. 14. Uh, b -b 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 oh shoot. Uh, b -b 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 oh, no. I'm going to pull my He's character checking sheet his blood. He's uh, checking. 20. 20. A plus six to his. That's body. my age. Uh, also, <laughs> That's my age. As it, happens, as it he, happens to be. He uh, he <clears throat> he uh, he's like the girls around here aren't. Um, Your dancers aren't. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, it, it's not this type of house. We provide mm. food and drink. If you are looking for companionship, you may go down to one of the. Uh, I the look at other Spud. taverns or the other areas. He basically tells you to to like you're kind of insulting him. Uh, that that he would run such an establishment in so his precious. joints. So, so precious. But okay. The girls are very flirty. I spin on a heel and I flip a gold coin in the air and I catch it and put it back in my. <laughs> Could have been yours. Roll it. <laughs> Roll it. And I, I leave the tavern because f this guy. All right. Oh wow. Uh, I I would like to take my plate of horse meat. Okay. And go as close to the stage as possible. Uh huh. 
with my giant, uh, order the biggest cup of wine uh-huh. and keep that as full as possible the entire night. The entire night. Are you going to drink until which you cannot drink anymore? I am going to be drinking until the show is over so I might take, uh, have a conversation with these All right. fine ladies. Good All right. luck, man. Oh, God. I tried that already. <laughs> Um, you asked the wrong. You asked the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong conversation. No, no. All right, so drinking at, with Sorry the dancers. If I thought he was a pimp. What's Korg doing? How does he feel about this situation? He's intrigued. He wants to find out more about the uh, the missing dancer. So he's also going to hang out with Garthok. Ah, you two are studly men sitting yes. there with your food and drinks. How's Denida and Hope feeling about this? Uh, she also wants to rest because I want my burning gaze back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But are you, hey, hey guys, are you gonna stay up all night? Are you gonna go to sleep somewhere? I, I mean, it, it, I, however the night may proceed, no. I shall meet it. Oh jeez. Um, but I did get a room, so. Probably gonna be there tonight. I'm gonna be there tonight. Uh, yeah. With someone? Oh, me? What are you winking at? Are you winking Is at me? Winking? With me? No. 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 Um, God, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll, stay up, I'll stay up with them, be, but I, yeah, I'll stay up because I'll, okay. I'll be a good female presence for when they try to talk to these. <laughs> they, you're, you're so you're just the one. Don't want me, Steve. Animal. Are you gonna just? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm giving. Yeah, I'll be your wing woman. I'm gonna go out and give Mr. Pickles the sugar cubes I promised right. for getting us here. Right. And then I'm gonna take my cup of Alize. No. Alize. Kanye the Giant. Kanye the Giant. Right. Drinks his Alize. Yeah, let's go um, into the cigarette. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take uh, the, the the finest wine that they uh-huh. gave me, and I'm gonna go back up to my room and uh, try to work on my rememorizing my sleep. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna and study and your. I'm gonna rest and heal right. up. Study Bye. Your, study your, change your smoking jacket. And I yes. think you heal one hit dice per night, as far as healing goes, right? I, you heal one one hit point. Per level. Level, right. So you're so three and a half. Over eight hours. Yes. You know what I yeah. can do? Right. Come over here. Cure light wounds. There I was go. trying to get out of doing any work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to lay on hands. Do bad. Lay on hands. Yeah. I'm not All right, that's fine. Though. So you, I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. you can clean clear them up with, with, uh, with it. So, so you, the, 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 the three of you sitting at the table, as the dancers are going, I keep going. I can do that. I can do their that. routine. I got that. I can um, do that. As, uh, I can do it too, but I like watching it. <laughs> I could do it too. Good. Uh, one of the they 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 um, do a routine together, mm-hmm. and then they both exit the stage, and one comes back out while the other one comes around and sits next to you guys. Oh. Um, and as the, her si- her as her sister is continuing to dance on stage, she comes in as well. Travelers, what are you in town for? We were uh, helping a merchant bring a saber tooth cat to the ziggurat. Um, Just spill it, yeah. But we also heard that your sister was taken by a ziggurat, like the ziggurat. Is that Malik talking again? I swear. Hey, hey, don't be like that. Well, (laughs) well, I don't even know what to tell you. She she was here one day, and then one day she was gone. We didn't even see, and they keep saying the ziggurats take her took her in, but she was having problems. She didn't like the city anyway. So I don't, I don't really even know if that was something that happened. Was she religiously inclined and spiritual? No, not necessarily. Why don't you sound upset that you lost a sister? She kind of, that's my, my business with my sister is my own, thank you. And I'll tell you what, just because we're sisters doesn't mean we didn't like each other. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get. I put a. I, I lay a, a hand on her uh, dancer thigh. <laughs> I get it. I, I like understand. Her supple thigh. Would you care for some horse? <laughs> Thank you. She kind of like lifts herself up off the table and starts well, walking back. I, I, I try to separate. Wait. What was her name? Uh, her name was. Um, uh, <laughs> Cecilia. 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 She uh, might break your heart. Yeah. She might break your heart. Uh, that's that's, that's she a song? She, as yeah. she comes, as she like, comes back, like, she turns and goes, <laughs> so what did you bring to the master? <laughs> the master? Who said that? Uh, you said you brought a cat in for the master of the ziggurat. What, did you, what are you selling to him? Could you explain more about this master of the ziggurat? We don't know. Some say that he's a sorcerer. Some say that he's a demigod. Nobody knows because no one's ever seen him. But stuff comes in 
and stuff comes out of there all the time. And she reaches into her pocket and oh. produces. What does like, she have a pocket? No, she. I'm sorry, not her pocket. Yeah, her breastal pocket. Her, her skin. Um, no, pocket. but she lifts up um, a, a, her, her, a piece of jewelry that's around her neck, mm. and it's a lavish like opal necklace. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like this is the, one of the last items that came out of it, and it cost me four weeks of work. So. What kind of work? Dancing. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, so. right. <laughs> Dancing. Okay. So. Anyway, Hoink. I say whatever he is doing in there, whatever, even if there is a master of the ziggurat, as long as he keeps bringing pretties like this back in, I'm fine with it. And, he wa and she walks backstage. <sighs> why don't well, then Why is it dangerous at night if it's just commerce? Well, let's go find out. OK. I'm in. Da, 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 so da. maybe, maybe so we take we, a break. Are we yeah. So the let's part? let's. So are we are we ready for a break? Yeah, we've gone. Okay. Or should we wait? So, uh, go ahead. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna come back in. Join us for the next episode in which the adventurers start deciding to either explore the city of Siraz and learn more about the master of the Zogarat, or if they're going to sip fine wine, read their spell books, and enjoy a pleasant evening to themselves. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Welcome to Saving Throw, Episode 1. I'm Amy. I'm Ben. And I'm Ivan. We've got an entire RPG to teach you guys and only nine episodes to do it, so we'll just jump in. Good? Good.